Hi, my name is Paolo, and this is part five of how I do Salesforce. In the last video, I talked about how I am no longer using page layouts, and instead, I'm using dynamic forms to pretty much redesign my record pages. I wanted to do a quick top up of that video and show you how I work with visibility settings within dynamic forms. So we're going to jump right into Salesforce. So here we have the same opportunity that we worked on in a previous video. And if you haven't seen that yet, then I'll drop a link to that below. So what we want to do now is essentially, I want to add a new section to this page to capture marketing information, but I only want to do that if the type of customer is a new customer. So here we have a type field, which is a standard field in the opportunity object. And if this is a new customer, then we want to ask them some specific marketing questions. And if it's not a new customer, if it's an existing customer, for now, what we're going to do is we're not going to ask them any marketing questions. We're going to assume that they are already receiving our marketing material. And so to begin, what we want to do is we want to click on the cogwheel and click edit page. And this is going to take us to the Lightning App Builder, where we'll be able to have access to dynamic forms. And so the first thing I want to do is I actually want to create a new page section called marketing. So I'm going to go to fields and then I'm going to scroll down on my page here because I want that to be quite low on the page. And I'm going to drag and drop a field section onto my page. Now I'm going to change the label to marketing information. Everything's going to be called information. And now what I want to do is I want to start adding some marketing related fields um, to this section here. So the first field that I want to add is, how did you hear about us? And I'll search for a couple more. So have you used our products before? And have you used similar products before? So these are the three fields. Um, these are the three marketing related fields that we want to capture for new customers. Now, if I just leave it like this, what's going to happen is this section is going to be visible for every type of opportunity. And so what I want to do is I want to add a visibility filter. Now, instead of adding visibility filters individually to each of these three fields, because I put them in a section, I can just add the filter to the section itself. And then everything within that section will automatically obey that filter. Let me show you what I mean. So if I click on the marketing information section, and then on the right-hand side, I click Add Filter. What I want to do now is search for the field that I want to have a criteria on, and it's called Type. So here's my Type field. So only when this field equals New Customer, then I want this section to be displayed to the end user. And you see that any component within your Dynamic Forms that has a visibility filter We'll have this orange eye icon next to it. So you know that they're only going to be shown if a certain criteria is met. So that's pretty much all I want to do. So now I just want to hit save. So let's have a look at what we've done. Essentially, we're going to go back to the record page. And this opportunity has a type of new customer. So I'm going to scroll down and I should be able to see my marketing information section with the fields that we've added to it. So now what I want to do is I want to change the type of my opportunity and let's see how that works. So I'm going to change this to uh, existing customer upgrade or any other value really. And then if I scroll down, you see that the entire section has disappeared. And it's not just the section itself, but the sections and the, the section and the fields within that section disappears as well. And that's because the fields within the section will just obey whatever visibility settings you have on the section. So that's a nice little trick for you. So hopefully that helps. Next time you need to redesign your record page layouts, don't use page layouts, but instead use dynamic forms. Until next time.